Thanks so much for the question. Let's do a real brief video on this. First of all, there's no such thing as a minor note. Notes are just notes. The terms major, minor, and other terms like diminished, augmented, things like that in music have to do with how notes interact with each other, how far apart they are from each other. So a note by itself is just a note. So now let's explain what a minor chord is. So come inside with me to my out of tune piano. So a chord in music is when we play at least three different notes at the same time. Technically, I think you can just think of it as like, a note is a note and a bunch of notes at the same time is a chord. I think that's a useful way to think about it. But the most basic chord we use is called the triad and that is every other note, like that. Now, right here, this is a major triad. C is our root note, so we call it a C triad. The root, the third, and the fifth. Think of it as if we're playing up a scale. We're skipping the second, we're skipping the fourth, so we're playing the first note of the chord, which we call the root, and then the third note, and then the fifth. And the distance between the root and the third right here is two whole steps. This is called a whole step because technically there's a note in between them. So we call that a whole step. A half step is when notes are just absolutely right next to each other. For instance, here or even right here. It does not matter if they're black or white keys at all. So this is a major triad. The distance between the root and the third is two whole steps. If I want to make it a minor triad, I take the third of the chord and I make it a little bit closer to the root note. So it goes here. So we have decreased that interval, the distance between them. By the way, that's why this is called a major triad, because the interval between the root and the third is major or bigger, and when it's minor, the interval between the two are slightly smaller. So it is a minor triad, and it has a darker quality to it. I like to say that major triads sound like the sun is shining, and the minor triad sounds like it's storming. Both, both very important qualities for music. Now, we won't get into keys too deeply here, but just think of it this way. The main chord in a key is minor in a minor key, and the main chord in a key is major in a major key. That's a useful way to think about it.